Hey everyone, this is KK Abrams from Taylor. Welcome to Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 Lesson 5. We're going to look into how to change speed in slow motion. We're going to look at variable speed changes. We're going to learn how to reverse. And lastly, we're going to learn how to freeze frame. Now that I got your attention, let's get right to it. All right, so right now we're gonna look into how to reverse, how to slow down a clip, and how to increase speed. Now, what we have here is, I'm gonna play the clip that we have here so you guys can get a, an idea what we're working with. All right. So as you see here, we have a skateboarder going over a park bench, which I think that's really cool. We're gonna show you how to Adjust your speed in regards to the clip you just seen. So what we're gonna do is the first way to adjust your speed is you can right click, and when you right click, you have your speed duration. We're gonna click on that, and you have your speed duration uh, dialog box that appears. Now what we have here, we have the speed connecting with the duration. So what that tells you is that as you see, the clip is six seconds long. If I'm going to increase, let's say I want the speed to be 50%. When the clip is 50%, that doubles, which is 13 seconds. Now, if you go to 200%, so we're making it faster, that'll be three seconds. Now, what we just seen here is that the higher the speed, the higher the percentage, the faster the clip goes, the lower the percentage, slower the clip goes. I know it's real simple. As long as you guys get the basic of the understanding, that's all it matters. So let's see what happens when we have a clip to 200%. All right, so as you see, the clip got shorter. And as the clip got shorter, we're gonna play this clip and see how it looks in fast motion. All right, so that was pretty quick. Yep, that was 200%. And it brought the clip down to three seconds, so that's pretty quick. Now we're gonna undo, you're gonna press Command Z. Now there's another way how you can uh, access to your speed duration. We're gonna go to our edit and we're gonna find, we're gonna go to our clip and we're gonna go on speed duration. And what you see here, we have a keyboard shortcut right beside it, which is Command R um, for your PC users, Windows, it will be your Control R and that will take you there. So we're just gonna click on it and that's gonna take us there as well. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna make this a lot slower. So we're gonna bring this to 50% and which is, sorry, 50%, which is 13 seconds as you've seen before. Now we have a clip that's in front of that clip and you wanna see what happens when we click okay. So as you see that that clip does not overwrite the clip that's in front of it, or overlap, it kind of stops where it, where it, where the second clip is at. So we're gonna play it to see how slow that goes. All right. Now, as you see, it's not the the it's not the complete clip because it's seven seconds. So what that did, it took out a few seconds off because there's an actual clip in front of it. But as you see, that's a slow motion of, that's how you slow motion your particular clip. And as you see here, it shows you 50%. Now let's undo it. Now we're gonna find another way. And what we just, what I told you earlier was Command R. And what a Command R does brings you back into the speed duration. Now, this is gonna be the third way of how you can enhance your speed. Now, what we have in duration is what I didn't show you, is when you have your mouse hover over the time, you notice that you have a finger and you have probably um, an icon between that finger, letting you know that you can drag it forward, drag it backwards, so you can drag it to your left-hand side, you can drag it to your right-hand side. 
Now, what we're going to do, we're going to figure out ways to slow down the clip or increase the speed of the clip by playing around with the duration here. So let's see. Uh, let me make this thing here. Okay, I'm going to make it 40%, which is 16 seconds. Now, we have these three boxes. I'm going to go over these three boxes, trying to give you a little more information what those are. To give you information what those are. Now, when we click on the reverse speed, the reverse speed, what it does, it reverses the actual clip. Okay? So, it's self-explanatory. It just reverses the clip. Whether you're having the speed in 40% or 200%, it will slow the clip according to the speed you add on to it. So the maintain audio pitch means that it leaves the audio the way it sounds. Click that out. Now the last one, what we have here, we have ripple edit and shifting trailing clip. Now what that means is that the gap that I have between the first two clips, whatever the percentage that clip is, that particular clip, the first clip that I have, um, the, the clip that I change the speed to will not overlap or go over the second clip. What it will do is that it will just push that clip back just to maintain that same space we have here. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click on the last, the third option, the ripple edit, and I'm gonna click okay and see what happens. The clip got longer. If I press the back shift or the backspace, or let's say if I bring the, if I uh, press the, if I expand my timeline, as you see here, the clip in front of it was not tampered. If anything, the same gap that we had before stays the same. All it does is just pushes the clips back. Okay. Now what we're going to do first is that we have this, we have this tool called the rate stretch rate stretch tool. The keyboard shortcut, as you see, is X. So when you click on that, it looks like uh, an arrow going through a line. Now, when you have your mouse hover at the end of the clip, it allows you to select that particular end of the clip and you can drag it. You can drag that clip as long as you want or as short as you want. And what that does is it allows you to slow down uh, to create slow motion of your clip or to uh, speed to add speed onto your clip. So what we're going to do, we're going to stretch this clip to at least 10 seconds. You're going to let it go. And when you see here, when the clip is 10 seconds, you have a percentage and the percentage tells you is 53.94%. Now when you click on it, you see the skateboarder is slowing down. He's running up and he lands on the skateboard as he keeps it moving. Now we're going to stretch the clip. Let's say we're going to go less than five seconds. So we have the clip. If I backslash, it'll tell you, tell me the, the percentage. So now this is over 351%. <laughs> which is pretty short, which is going to go really fast. So when I press space, this is what happens. It goes very quick. You're going to learn how to change speed within the same clip. Give calling it the variable, the variable speed change. Now to do that, we're going to press the V key to bring to a selection tool and we're going to expand our keyframe here. And what we're going to do when we expand the keyframe above, let me bring the keyframe back to normal. I'm going to undo it backslash. Now, when you expand it, you notice that we have an arrow where besides opacity, we're going to click on it. And what that does, it allows us to change keyframes within different modes of the video. So you have motion gives you a different option here opacity, which is your opacity. And now we have time wrapping, which is speed. So we're going to click on speed because that's what we're going to be working on today. And what you see here is that you have a yellow line in between that clip. 
Now what we're going to do, what we can do is that with that line, you can drag that line. And when you drag the line, it gives a percentage as you see it. That's another way and how you can add speed or slow motion onto your clip. So as you see here, 45% or let's say, uh, yeah, let me bring it to 40% and you see it does the same thing. Slows down the clip. Let me slow down the clip from here. And I will bring the speed up. So when you hover your, your mouse over the uh, yellow line, you see a like a, a plus or a minus sign. So you could click on it, you could bring it up. You know, let's say I bring it up to 120%. That's gonna speed up the clip, as you see here. All right, so this is enough of adjusting the speed one way. Now we're gonna find ways how we can adjust the speed within the same clip. Now the clip is back to normal, it's 100%. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna press Command and click. So when you hold Command, now you've noticed when you have your mouse hover the, the yellow line and you press command, you have a plus sign. What that does is allow you that you're going to add a keyframe to it. So as you see here, we're going to go to our effects controls and then we're going to go to our time remapping. So now our time remapping is on here and onto the keyframe here. We are going to hold command and we're going to find we're going to find a scene where we want to speed up our clip. So maybe around here when he lands on the skateboard, when he's about to land on the skateboard, I'm going to hold command and click on that particular part here, command click. And what you see here, we have a keyframe right here. So what that does without holding any keys on your keyboard, you're just going to click on that line here and you're going to have it now like it's speed up. I want a little bit, I want to have it quick. So let's go to 170%. And what we have the first key here to is regular speed. So we're going to have it played and that's what happens. So he goes pretty quick. All right. Now we're going to undo it. You want to bring it back to normal. And what we have here is that we have our keyframe right here again. So what we're going to do, we're going to press, we're going to hold alt and click on the end of the keyframe to adjust where we want to place our clip. Now I want to kind of have it placed right in the middle. And when you do that, you have this bezier here in the middle, but first we're going to adjust the keyframe. Now what we're going to do on the first part of the keyframe, we're going to Adjust this. You're going to make it a little bit fast. Okay. Then we're going to increase the speed at the beginning. Backslash. And we're going to look at the speed here and we're going to slow it down at the beginning, at the end. We're going to slow it down at the end. So 50%. Right. So when you look over here, we're going to have we're gonna press play. I want to. We're gonna press play and see how it turns out. He speeds up and he slows down at the end. Pretty cool. So when you look at your edit control, you'll notice that on your time wrap remapping, you have a keyframe here, and you can control your keyframe as long as you want, or adjust it to how you want it. And when you do that, you have your keyframe here. And it slows down. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to adjust our Bezier. Now our Bezier allow us to give us the smooth transition from fast to slow. So I'm going to undo. All right. So when you click on that, you have, you see the Bezier here. And we're going to, I'm going to speed this thing up. Again, not too much. So we're going to leave it to 70% or 180%. We're going to click on our Bezier. Oh, and let me just kind of slow this thing down a little bit to 60%. You're going to click. You're going to click in between our keyframe and our Bezier is right here. So if I 
zoom in where Bezier is. Now what you see here, the Bezier is going to smoothen the transition to allow us to have a nice smooth transition from speeding up to slowing it down. So now I like how the bed, I like how it's uh, how I I like how I have it adjust. Okay. And now I want to backslash. Now you see you have a nice smooth curve on our timeline. Now we're going to press play. We're going to watch that again and see how the nice transition slows down. One more time. Nice transition here. So now we're going to learn how to reverse our video clip. So we have this clip that we've been working on. And of course, the skate, the same skateboarder jumping over a pipe bench. Now, is, this reverse technique is very simple. What we're going to do is that we're going to right click. Um, we're going to go to speed duration. And when you go to speed duration, we're going to have, we're going to click in reverse speed. Now we're going to leave this at 100%. And now what we have here, we have a reverse clip. And that's how you reverse your clip. It's real simple. Um, to kind of go a little bit more on that, we go on speed duration again. And let's just say uh, we want to make this clip, let's go 50%. Well, that'd be too long. Let's go 200% to make it nice and quick. And this is on reverse still. Click OK. And you have a fast motion reverse. We're going to go back on it again. Speed duration. You're going to make this 50%. And this is going to be a slow motion effect on reversing. So it's going to take a while. Now you see as he goes backwards to do the trick. Voila, there you have it. Now we're gonna look into how we're gonna freeze frame our clip. What I wanna do, I wanna freeze frame it right here. Now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to close that clip where the playhead is, and we're gonna freeze frame the clip over here. Now, there's three ways how you can freeze frame your clip, which I showed you the first one earlier on this lesson where you have your playhead and you could just simply capture it by exporting your frame and then adding onto your timeline so that it can stay consistent. But now what we're going to do is we're going to look into, we're going to find a different way to freeze frame our clip. We're going to hold option for Mac and alt for PC. We're going to let go. So we have the same clip here. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click. Now when you right click, you go to frame hold. You go to frame hold. And when you go uh, frame hold, you have the frame hold option and you go to the output. Now you click at the out point, click OK. Now you notice that nothing really happens yet, but you see what happens. So when you go, you see that the frame is frozen where he just jumps on top of the park bench. Now here's the trick here. In case you want to expand your, uh, your still image or your frozen image, this is gonna happen. When you stretch your image, it's going to stretch to where you have it into. So I'll give you an example. You see what happened is that because I stretched it to that particular scene or that particular part of that clip, this is where it ends to. So this is the reason why you got to be aware when you use, when you do that method by uh, freeze framing your clip. So we're going to delete that. And what we're going to do is that we're going to have another way how you can freeze frame your clip. Now we're going to enlarge this part again. Now we're going to do, we're going to go to time remapping, go to speed. And we wanted to have him jumping over here. Right. You're going to, you're going to extend the clip so we can have enough to work with. So we're going to have the clip right here. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold command and you're going to have command. You're going to click 
on where he's jumping over. And what you're going to do is you're going to go drag all the way down where it's this 1%. It is going to stay where it is. It's not going to add any motion to it. So we're going to see and see what happens. You're going to play and see what happens. Oh. And you can have it free as long as you want. But I advise you to zoom in and to create another keyframe here. And then where you have your the ending of that particular clip here, you wanted to bring it back up to 100%. Now when you have it 100%, this is what happens. And this is how you freeze frame however or wherever you want to freeze frame your clip to. Comes back to normal. A quick recap on lesson five. We've learned how to change speed and add slow motion. We've learned variable speed changes, how to reverse our video, and lastly, how to freeze frame your video. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is KK Abrams from Tayola telling you to leave your mark.